Finally, it's possible to create a quadrant chart in Power BI that does not just show the lines that create the quadrants, but has different colors for each quadrant. And this is all possible in the latest Power BI release. It's super easy to set up. It's dynamic and all native. Now, let me show you step by step how to set up this chart. Now, let's get started by creating the different quadrants. And we are going to use reference lines, probably a trick that you already know, but with a twist. All right, now I'm going to select that chart. Then we go to formatting options, and then here we find reference line. Now, let's add the first one, and I want this to be an x-axis constant line, all right? And then I want to place them more or less in the middle. We have scores from uh, 0 to 10 or 1 to 10. So therefore, I'm going to put this one to 5, and then I'm going to make the line disappear. So over here, the width, I'm going to put to 0. But there's a new feature. If we go a bit further down, there we can shade the area. And here I'm going to choose a different color, for example, gray. Now I'm going to repeat this one more time, but now I'm going to shade that area that's to the right of it. All right, now these are not quadrants just yet. For that, well, we need another line, but then the other way around, a horizontal one. So let's add another line. And this time we are not going to go for x-axis constant line, but a y-axis constant line. And here, now already you see, <gasps> We have four quadrants. All right, nice. However, I want this to be on top, right? So I'm going to change the position to after. And you see, if I now start to play around with the transparency, we get, well, different colors. What I said at the beginning, I want these quadrants to be dynamic. Well, for that, we can make use of parameters, right? So over here, if we go to modeling, new parameter, we can go for numeric range parameter which in this case goes from one to 10. That's the range of the scores. I'm just going to call this one parameter X. Then we repeat it one more time for the Y axis as well. Okay, so we have two slices. One is gonna go here on the left, the other one here at the bottom. You could also put them there uh, in the title section, but I want them here, all right? And I don't want the sliders. I want them to be smaller. I don't need the headers, that's fine. So now that I have this, I want them to be linked to well, the quadrant. So I have to go back and then go here to the reference lines, then select over here the lines. Now, there you see we hard coded the five, but we can make this dynamic by clicking here on FX. And then here we can choose from all of our data the X and Y position. And then we have to do that, of course, one more time. And now it's already linked. So you see over here we can play around with the cutoff points. Perfect. Now what is still missing? We are missing the names of each quadrant. So let's put those in as well.